How's it going guys? Welcome back to another hero guide. Today's hero guide is focusing on Blot. We shall begin by quickly going through his abilities. The first ability is called the Force Field. With this ability, the hero creates a wall of energy with durability of 28. This Force Field can trap enemies and these trapped enemies cannot move or shoot. We also note that this force field can be destroyed by a direct rocket hit. When the force field is activated, the hero's firing range and aimed firing range are increased by 45. So you can definitely take advantage of the shield to allow yourself to shoot at further distances. The second ability is called the bandage. This ability simply restores 390 health to the hero and the hero's running loudness is reduced by 50% for 4 seconds. And for the third ability, the hero simply gains an increase to their magazine size of 6, their damage is increased by 30%, the armor is increased by 35% and their aiming time is reduced by 50%. When hitting an enemy, the enemy's armor is reduced by 390. And then for the fourth ability, we have the combat advantage. On making a kill, all incoming damage for allies within a range of 400 is reduced by 50% for 3 seconds. All allies also gain armor of 450 and this works for allies within a range of 400. And that brings us to the end of Blot's abilities. We now go through a few tips and tricks which can be applied to find more success with this hero. And getting right into it, the first tip which I would give you is you need to fire the first shot and then put down the shield. So um, what happens is you see an enemy and then you fire the first shot and a lot of times the first shot will take out the enemy and you won't even need to use your shield. Now if you miss that first shot or if you fail to take out the enemy then you put down the shield and land a second shot. So that's the basic strategy. Those are just the basics. And then um, for the second tip you need to let the gun aim before you turn it towards the enemy. So once you see an enemy don't immediately point your gun towards them. First let it point away from the enemy and let it aim. So once you aim to the side and the cone becomes small, the cone is that red thing that indicates where your bullet will pass. Once it becomes small enough, then you turn the gun towards the enemy and fire. And then for the third tip, learn how to use the shield as a decoy. Um, so what you basically do is you deploy a shield and once the enemy has seen that you've deployed the shield you attack the enemy from a different direction but you don't deactivate the shield. So the enemy will see the shield and will try to find ways of approaching and during that time you will try and flank the enemy from a different direction. And for the fourth tip I would encourage you to learn how to dance along the shield. So um, in case you're facing enemies from different directions or in case you're facing an enemy that is able to attack you on the opposite side of your shield, um, what you can do is stand directly in the middle of the shield and allow yourself to quickly shift to one side or another depending on where the enemy is. It takes a bit of practice but with some time you'll get used to it. And for the next tip here, this is included in all our hero guides and works for every hero. Um, simply pick around corners to make it harder for enemies to hit you. The next tip is all about using walls or corners to hit enemies without aiming first. So um, what you basically do is you walk up to the corner and if you want to hit an enemy immediately, without waiting for your gun to aim, you make a movement that allows the wall 
to eliminate part of the cone and the remaining part of the cone is where the bullet will pass and hit the enemy and if you do this right um, you have a good chance of hitting the enemy but it takes a bit of practice but even if you don't have access to a wall or corner you can keep trying no scopes in empty space just to you know give yourself a chance of pulling it off because sometimes you don't have time to aim and the no scope can allow you to take out an enemy without wasting that one or two seconds of aiming and the next tip here is all about quick reflexes um, train yourself to react very quickly in case enemies like ghosts or stalkers surprise you from behind and for our next tip here i would advise you to use the shield as much as possible the shield has a fast cooldown and a fast recharge and there's no reason for you to save those ability charges you can even use the shield when you're reviving one of your allies and this will protect you from enemies and our final tip here looking around a lot is very important for blood because if you don't look around you increase the chances of being surprised and it's going to be very hard for you to survive since blood has a very low health and that's it for the tips and tricks we now proceed to a few possible g assets which i have tested out and the first g asset that we have is a set without personal gears and in this set we have the special forces optics for less aiming time we have the reflex implant for less primary weapon spread we have the arm implant for more aimed fire range we have the precision implant for a higher movement speed while aimed so this allows you to remain moving without slowing down so much but your gun will remain aimed and you will still be able to hit the enemy without necessarily stopping and then we have the thug knuckle for more damage against health and the exploder for more aimed range um, this is a decent set in case you don't have personal gears and even when you get personal gears all you have to do is replace the relevant personal gears that you want to use in this set and one of the personal gears you can use is a trilight shoulder which will further reduce your aiming time and allow you to aim very very fast and take out enemies and then for the next set here we have a set which allows you to do the maximum damage to the enemy and also allows you to have a good fire rate in this set we have the eye implant for more damage to armor and more vision we have the trilight heart for more health and less primary point spread we have the arm implant for more aimed range we have the technique pads for a higher fire rate we have the thug knuckle for more damage to health and we have the trilight device for more armor penetration and more vision note that this set has two set gears and equipping two set gears on any sniper increases their damage to health this set also has two personal gears and this will increase the damage to enemy armor so overall you do more damage to the enemy for the third set this is a set which allows you to have the longest possible aimed fire range and in this set we have a combat headband for more aimed fire range we have a trilight hat for more health and less primary point spread we have a trilight shoulder pad for more aimed fire range and less aiming time then we have the technique pads for a higher fire rate we have a thug knuckle for more damage to health and the exploder for more aimed fire range and your aim fire range ends up being increased by almost 50 depending on how you've upgraded your gears and then for the fourth set here this is my current set and currently i'm testing out blood's full personal set and um, some of the bonuses include more damage to armor more damage to health and because of these two bonuses i want to test out and see how many heroes blood can kill in one shot compared to slayer and i'll be making a video regarding that in the future i guess that's it for today's video thanks for watching 
Stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Peace.